Think it, feel it, achieve it, manifesting through clear intention and visualization. Activating the law of attraction involves aligning your thoughts, emotions, and internal actions with your true desired outcome. It starts with clarity of intention. What do you really want? And understanding precisely what you want to achieve. Visualization plays a key role where you mentally picture your goal as already accomplished, creating a vivid sensory experience in your mind. Having a vision of the desire as fulfilled creates a feeling, emotion, feeling is the key. Let's start from the beginning to make sure you are approaching the laws of attraction appropriately. Here are the three most important laws of attraction. The law of like attracts. Like, this principle asserts that similar energies attract each other. It means that positive thoughts will attract positive outcomes, while negative thoughts will bring about negative results. The law of nature's abundance. This law highlights the universe's infinite abundance, encouraging individuals to operate from a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. Consider this, there is the world of the manifest, what we call reality, physical, solid. And then there is the world of the unmanifest, the place where quantum physics lives, the infinite source of supply. From here, everything is manifested into the physical or solidly real, and when no longer required, dissolves and returns to await its next desired potential as proven by the centuries-old double-slit experiment. The Law of Unwavering Desire This law emphasizes the importance of having a clear but persistent desire of what you want to manifest. It suggests that a steadfast focus on your desire is crucial for attracting or manifesting it into your reality. But does the Law of Attraction really work? The effectiveness of the Law of Attraction can be seen in the lives of many successful people who have applied its principles wholeheartedly, either knowingly or unknowingly, and never allowed themselves to be deterred by others or by their minds, which is the hardest and a daily battle for all of us. So how does it work? In the simplest terms, by aligning one's mental and emotional feelings energy with their true desired goals, creating a magnetic pull, or simply opening the door to necessary circumstances, people, and opportunities to cause the realization or manifestation of those desires. But only a way the universe can map out, therefore planning in your head the how, when, and where it will happen is an act of futility. Consider the multitudes of people who live without a clear intention of what they want, who have been taught to go with the flow, keep their head down, play it safe, or simply have been trained to have a victim mentality. In my many years of experience with the law of attraction, I found it is probably close to 95% of people don't really know what they want or want things that have been instilled in them by others, society, advertisers, etc., etc., as things they should have or desire to be viewed as successful. That is the house, the car, the relationship, etc. Many find their daydreams do not materialize, so they go through life with a defeatist attitude or simply quit trying. Through simple ignorance, People are living as if the material world somehow came into being from nothingness, without intention or cause, where the universe just popped from a single speck of nothingness, by an unaware nothingness to settle into a cosmic dance of universal precision, yet able to spawn itself into the mind-boggling perplexity of the current reality we witness that we live in. So what is the real reality? And there is no escaping it. You are the creator. You are creating everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
If it weren't so, we would not be talking about the law of attraction and how to use it because there would be no way for any of us to change anything in our lives. You truly would be the victim of circumstances with no way out but through death. So how can we use it? Here is one of the most famous. It's called the 777 Manifestation Technique. Please note that this manifestation technique takes time. Why? Because that is what is needed for you to retrain your mind and shift it from the old mindset of not being the fear-mongering doubter and dissuader of ideas and desires to the new mindset of being the creator of your world. Your conscious mind can't help itself because that is its job keeping you safe. Fears and doubts are used to keep you from doing stupid things which could kill you. Like trying to walk a tightrope without years of training and practice. Unfortunately, the mind tends to do its job too well when it comes to our desires for success and happiness in life. So what does it take to use it? The 777 Manifestation Technique. It involves writing down on paper, not a computer, a specific desire 77 times for seven consecutive days. Why do this? Well, because it helps to bring out if the desire is sincerely yours and something you genuinely want. Why? Because you are not going to want to waste your time physically writing all those words unless what you assume you want is truly what you desire. This practice is designed to be a self-realization exercise to determine what truly is most important to you as an individual. Following these steps will help you drill down on your desire until you feel satisfied you have reached your deepest, honest desire. Once you have achieved it and feel satisfied from there, it is simple to stay focused on the desire to bring forth the feelings of fulfillment as if already yours. Well, guess what? It was yours all along. You just didn't know where to look or how to hold on to it. Question, do you want more money or just money period? Using the above technique allows you to zero in on the feeling of having money by writing it over and over again. That exercise now frees you to start visualizing what you would be doing with money. But wait, before it pops into existence, you might start to notice your mind bring forward deeply seated resistance to the forefront regarding you having money or a lot of it. Now, as you persist in changing your mindset, these deep-seated thoughts of well-entrenched resistance begin to emerge and fill your glorious mind in waves. You now start to feel the sense of anxiety taking over your body because of these thoughts from some unknown hemisphere of mental functionality, presenting the oh-so-familiar doubts and dissuasion. So, here begins the battle of the wills, your mind over matter. If your mind wins, it has successfully dissuaded you from continuing to pursue this course of action. You then justify dropping what you're trying using a whole host of reasons why it wouldn't work, at least not for you. Of course, the worst is you telling someone what you are going to try and they immediately say, oh, that won't work, completely deflating your sale from even starting the journey. Your mind says, see, I told you. If you win, you have successfully ignored the entrenched mental resistance, overcome the mental chatter, the feeling of anxiety, and you continue to follow through with manifesting your true desires. You are the winner. But what's more important here is to recognize you have opened the door to the deep-seated resistance lurking in the depths of your psyche, long forgotten or mislabeled. From here, you can examine each item of resistance as they arise to acknowledge and then effortlessly dismiss them by saying thank you for your service. I am safe and this is no longer me. Remember, you are the creator and you are creating 24 7 except for deep sleep time, meaning during sleep, if your mind realizes you are sleeping but can think of the outer world, you are in between worlds. You are creating your next reality in this space 
and can influence your desires and beliefs. Beliefs are the driving force. Why? Because you develop a feeling about something, it feels true to you, which then becomes a belief and the driving force of the continuing manifestation of your reality. The endless cycle of familiarity and safety of everyday life as it continues to be. It really is as simple as that. These exercises are meant only to break you of the limiting beliefs you are holding on to. They try to force you to rethink your energy. Nikola Tesla 369 number recognition that he discovered. This may help you to create what you need and desire via the law of attraction. Again, this has to do with the recognition steps within the mind. Tesla's 369 method refers to a numerological formula attributed to Tesla, who believed these numbers held the key to the universe. This program is a bit more complex and much more involved if you are not a well-organized individual and someone who can't follow protocol effortlessly. Then I would not recommend trying this. Why? Because failing prolongs the journey to enlightenment. And who wants to waste time? Just show me the money, right? Number three, significance. It's said that Tesla considered the number three to be divine, representing the basis of everything in the universe. In the context of the 369 method, it often stands for mind, body, and spirit, or the three dimensions of space we experience daily. Number six, Significance. This number represents the deeper layers of existence, some say the cosmic or life energy. It's seen as a step beyond the physical, three, into the patterns that govern the universe and our existence. Number nine, significance. This is considered the most sacred and represents universal love, eternity, and spiritual awakening. It's often viewed as a key to unlocking a higher state of consciousness or the secrets of the universe. The method. In practice, the Tesla 369 method involves using these numbers as a guide for personal growth, manifestation, or finding deeper understanding and harmony with the universe. It can involve meditating on these numbers, using them in daily affirmations or structuring thoughts and actions around their symbolic meanings to enhance one's ability to manifest desires. How to activate the laws of attraction. So here are the preliminary steps for you to start manifesting what you desire immediately. Let's go back to the three laws of attraction. Does the law of attraction really work? Yes, but you need to see the act of manifestation take place. Seeing is believing, right? But before you can see, you must consciously activate. Remember, we are unconsciously creating everything. Activating the law of attraction requires a clear focus, a mindset of faith, and a consistent feeling of fulfillment about your goals. Here's how you can engage this powerful principle in your life. Let's get started. Four, clarity of purpose. Know exactly what you want. By far the most important step. Clear goals provide a direction for your energy. Five, positive thinking. Acknowledging your limited beliefs, dismissing them with gratitude, then maintaining a positive outlook by believing what is already yours to attract positive results, as like attracts like. Six, visualization. Regularly visualize having your goals. This creates a powerful mental image that creates the needed feeling. What does it feel like to have the love, the money, the health, and the desired life? Seven, affirmations. These are not always necessary, but can help create the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Remember, feeling is the secret. Eight, action, rinse and repeat the steps above. Take those proactive steps toward your goals. The law of attraction works in tandem with your efforts. But once you know by feeling you have it, stop. This may seem daunting at first, 
but with practice and proactiveness, it can be accomplished. The real test is mind over matter. Who is going to win? If you give up easily, then you know the answer. If you can force yourself through it, then you are the winner. The important thing is to know there is no magic pill, but it doesn't have to be hard. We battle our minds day in and day out over the simplest of things sometimes. Learn to quiet the mind, getting into the space of feeling without thinking. What do I mean? Well, if having a loving relationship is your goal, then just feel what it feels like without talking to yourself about how it feels. Just feel it. Same with all other desires. Feeling is the secret. 